Hi everyone. The title of this book is called Going Places, and it's a book. What is a title? The name of a book. Very good. And the authors and illustrators, they're brothers, and their names are Peter and Paul Reynolds. What do authors do? Write the words. Mm -hmm. And what do illustrators do? Write the pictures. Not write the pictures. They draw the pictures. Very good. So. And color them in. Marco told me when I took this book out, this is one of his favorite books. Mm -hmm. So the title of this book is Going Places, and it is by one of my favorite authors, Peter Reynolds, and his brother, Paul Reynolds. Um, Raphael had been waiting all year long for the Going Places competition, a chance to build a go-kart, race it, and win. When their teacher announced, who would like the first kick? Raphael's hand shot up. The rest of the class watched enviously as Raphael walked back to his seat with the first kick. Mrs. Shonda, Shonda assured them, don't worry. You'll all be getting one. And they're all exactly alike. So everybody had the same tools and the same materials. The kit came with a set of precise instructions. That made, that made Raphael very happy. He was really good at following directions. So if they all have the same materials and they all have the same tools in the same directions, what are all their go-karts going to look like? The same. Yeah. Well, that's not very interesting. Raphael hammered, glued, nailed, and assembled his kit. His go-kart looked just like the one in the directions. He was feeling quite proud of himself. Raphael wondered how his classmate Maya was doing. Maya lived right next door. He peered over the fence. Hey, Maya, you haven't even started? Maya didn't respond. She was so intent on watching the bird in front of her and quickly sketching it. She didn't even notice Raphael. Then she just put down her pencil and stared at the bird dreamily. Raphael shrugged and let her be. I wonder what she's thinking about. A bird. A bird. I wonder why. Don't tell them. The next morning, Raphael checked back in to see how Maya was doing. Wow! What is that? Maya grinned. You like it? Raphael responded slowly. Yeah, it's extremely cool. But, uh, Maya? There's just one little problem. That's not a go-kart. Maya smiled. Who said it had to be a go-kart? Raphael was confused. The set of instructions inside the box were for a go-kart. But then again, they didn't say it had to be a go-kart. He looked again at Maya's contraption. After a moment, he grinned. I get it. Hey, Maya, I really want to win this race. The instructions never said we couldn't team up either. And so they did. 
working late into the evening. Working really hard together, huh? The next day, everyone gathered for the big race. Each go-kart was a perfect replica of the other. Do you remember what we said replica means? It looks like the same one. Yeah, they all look the same. And now... Like it looks like they're all copied. They are all copied. They're all copied from the same set of directions. Kind of boring, huh? When everything looks the same. Boys and girls, Maya and Raphael's go-kart is not here. What do you think is going to happen next? Let's see. Except one. One of the kids laughed. Looks like you had trouble with the going places instructions. You're going places, all right. You're going to lose. Maya and Raphael didn't have time to respond because the announcer's big, boomy voice called out, Attention racers, start your engines! Four, three, two, one! A buzzer sounded. And they're off! There we go. While all the other go-karts disappeared into a cloud of dust, Maya just sat there, motionless in her vehicle. Raphael shouted over the roar of the engines and cheering crowds, Maya, what are you waiting for? No worries, Raphael, Maya answered. Flaps down. Throttle up. <laughs> and now they took off into the air. The other contestants looked up in amazement. What do you think their faces look like? Maya and Raphael hovered and then sped past them. Before long, Maya and Raphael coasted across the finish line to the cheers of the waiting crowd. They kept rolling clear across the race grounds. Maya slammed on the brakes, stopping just short of the lake at the edge of the school field. Raphael noticed a startled frog leap from a lily pad and dive into the water. He raised his eyebrows, looked at Maya. She smiled. Hey, Raphael, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Raphael just nodded. Mm -hmm. What's that? Their next go kart. It doesn't have wheels or anything. No. So, one thing I want you guys to talk with your moms and dads about is creativity and how Maya and Raphael thought differently about the same job. So, they were both given the same job of making a go kart, but Maya came up with something very different. And Raphael, at first, he, he wasn't too keen on that idea. He didn't think it was so great. But after a while, he was like, you know what? Maybe it is a good idea to think outside that box of directions. And the other thing I want you to figure out is where did Maya and Raphael get their inspiration for their first go-kart and their second go-kart? All right. I hope you enjoyed this book. Goodbye.